Hello fellow Mega Lovers, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to another day of Indie Mist. I'm super excited for this video because we're going to be doing three looks with the Menagerie Cosmetics Arthurine Blush Palette. When I got this and I saw how pigmented it was and I did a first impression and tried it on the eyes, I was completely sold for this being an eyeshadow palette as well as a blush palette. I just feel like the colors in this palette are absolutely beautiful. I wanted to go ahead and play with them a lot more on the eyes, so today I am doing three different looks using these on the eyes and the cheeks, and then also because those are all mattes, I thought it would be the perfect time to pull in my Cleona Cosmetics Stained Glass Collection. These shadows are absolutely beautiful, so I was excited to go ahead and pair them together. I feel really bad about this video because I filmed the first two looks over a month ago, and I was waiting to do blush swatches, but my cheeks kept breaking out and I didn't want to do blush swatches and I kept putting it off and putting off like finishing this video. I'm trying to do literally only indie products for every single video during indie mist but I can't remember what I used for like the lips and the highlighter in my first two looks so if they're not indie products I apologize like I said that part was filmed quite a while ago and I still plan on doing a full review with face washes of this palette. I just wasn't ready yet, like I said, little insecurities, we all have them, but finally I started a new skincare routine and my skin is responding really well. So hopefully I can film that soon, but let's just go ahead and jump on into the looks. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the shade Salmonberry and put that through my crease. Just start blending it out. I'm also going to go ahead and take Salmonberry along my entire lower lash line. I'm going to take the shade Agarita. I'm going to start that off on my outer V. And bring it into my crease a little bit. Back into the previous brush and lightly blend that out. And I'm also going to take a touch of the red along the lower lash line. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take some NYX Glitter Primer. Just popping a little bit of that all over my lid. I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Ray from Cleona, and I'm going to put that all over the lid. This shade has a beautiful red shift, so I thought it would go really well. Like as I move, you can see a little bit of the green shift in that as well. I'm also going to go ahead and take the shade Halo from Cleona, and I'm going to pop that on my inner corner. This one has more of an orange shift to it. All right, I'm gonna quickly pop some black liner on my waterline, throw on some mascara, and I'll be right back. For blush today, I'm gonna use a stipple brush to try out with this palette, and I'm going to go into the shade Agarita. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm gonna try and take just a tiny bit. I do actually really like the way red blush looks blended out very sheer, but it is sometimes nerve-wracking to use, especially when it's a very pigmented palette. So I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit and start blending it on my cheeks. Yeah, the pigment is real. This might be one of those shades that I only use on my eyes. But I could see this being beautiful on a lot of skin tones. Wow, I turned into a clown fast. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take a fluffy brush and take a powder that's close to my skin tone. Just gonna grab a little bit and brush that on top just to soften this. I think that shade's a little bit too pigmented for me to use as blush for like normal day wear. I'd have to be even more careful than I was with it just now. But let's go ahead and do some highlighter. I think since we're already here, we may as well have fun with it. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade that I used on my inner corner, that shade Halo, and I'm gonna use it as highlight. I think that actually would look really cool. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Why does that look so magical? That like low key looks like a rainbow on my cheek. That's really cool. All right, I'm gonna finish this off with the e.l.f. lipstick in the shade Golden Pear. All right, so this is the finished first look. I really love how it turned out. I feel like the blush palette shades blend so well and build so well on the crease. They look really, really nice 
for eyeshadows. I mean, honestly, after adding the face powder on top of the blush, it doesn't look quite so crazy. It actually looks kind of cute, especially with this highlight. So I'm excited to keep playing with it and try different brushes and, you know, just gathering my full opinion. But overall, I like the look. I love any excuse to play with my Cleona stained glass shadows. So now let's go ahead and jump on into the second look. Okay, so today I thought I would do something a little bit more purpley. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Cloudberry. And I'm just gonna start that off through my entire crease. Thought I'd go ahead and try a different, more fluffy brush for the initial application today just to see what it looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and pack it on a little bit. Such a pretty color. Actually, you know what? I think this is going to be a little bit more berry rather than purple. Alright, I'm going to take the shade Blueberry and I'm going to pop that along my entire lower lash line. And then for my outer V, I'm going to go into the shade Bearberry. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna start off and use that on my smudger brush on the lower lash line just a little bit, just to make it connect, and then I'll do the outer V. Like I said, going a little bit more berry. Now jumping into the stained glass shadows. I don't even know what to do today. I feel like I could go so many different directions. Like I think any of the lighter pinks here would be really pretty. Maybe even that shade. Or I have a light blue cardigan on, so maybe just being a little matchy-matchy. I'm going to take this pink shade, which is called Translucency. It has a blue shift to it, so I think that could be really pretty. And I'm just going to go ahead and start off with my NYX Glitter Primer. I'm doing it with my finger just to make it that much easier. And quick. Now picking up Translucency with my finger, I'm just going to press that in. It's such a pretty shade. Okay, for my inner corner, I'm going to go into the shade Aura. Super bright pink shift. I'm going to finish off my eyes with my burgundy liner from Nabla. I'm going to throw on some We Make Up More mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, so for my cheeks, I'm going to go ahead and use Cloudberry today. Again, just picking up a little bit on a dual fiber brush. And I'm going to throw that on. That's really nice and buildable with this brush. I feel like something about that shade is just like a very, very natural flush for me. I think it looks like I'm actually blushing. I definitely want to use like a really beautiful soft pink highlight today. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my Lethal Cosmetics highlight in the shade Ionic. You already know, if you've watched my channel, I love this one. I'm just going to grab a random highlighting brush at the tops of my cheekbones. Last but not least, to go along with all the pink, I'm going to take my Muse Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Cassette. It looks like a clear gloss, but it turns pink on the lips. Alright, so this is the finished second look. I don't really have that much to say other than I really enjoy it. I am enjoying doing this video so much so far. So now let's go ahead and jump on into the third look. You know, you know we have to do the yellow blush next. Okay, so jumping right on in, I already went ahead and primed my eyes with the Crow and Pebble Eyeshadow Primer in the shade Parchment. Today we're going to go warm, which I'm super excited about. So I'm going to start off with the shade Goji first. And I'm going to just throw that through my crease. So pigmented. I'm also going to take a little smudgy brush. And just take that shade along my entire lower lash line as well. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and take some of Persimmon. Just adding a little bit more warmth. I feel like I want to add something to add a little bit more in the outer V. I guess I'm going to go ahead and take just a little bit of Dog Rose and see how that looks. I'm going to take a little bit of Dog Rose, pop that on the outer third of my lower lash line as well. Okay, so I just thought of something kind of fun and different to do with this look. I'm going to go ahead and also do a touch of Salmon Berry and just throw that on my inner corner. I'll probably end up doing a light shimmer over it, but I just thought that this would be a fun little different pop. I'm going to kind of blend it upwards a little bit, put it on the lower lash line. I can't decide what to do for the lid today. Part of me wants to go in with the yellow. I think that could be really pretty. Part of me wants to use one of these bronzy shades down here. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm just going to follow my heart. I'm going to take the yellow shade here, which is one of the Vibrant Multi-Chromes, 
It is the shade Throne. And I'm going to pop that all over the lid. I think I'm actually going to go in with my finger too, just to make it a little bit more vibrant. And I don't even know what I was thinking, not using a glitter glue and using a brush. I'm taking a little extra powder, just trying to wipe that off, but I guess today is just going to be one of those sparkly days. I'm going to take just a little bit of this shade right here called Aura and pop that on the inner corner. Just a tiny little bit, just to add some sparkle. Ooh, that is so pretty. Ooh, that was a good decision. And that matte base underneath it just makes it pop even more. All right, I'm gonna take the Linda Halberg Hobby Mood Pencil, throw that on my waterline, throw on some mascara, and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna jump back in the palette and I'm gonna use Goji as my blush today. I'm excited because this is a very different kind of color for me. I'm gonna go for a classic, my A Cosmetics blush brush. I bought this years ago because of April from One of Makeup and I still love it to this day. So I'm just gonna pick up a little tiny bit of Goji. Just blending that in. I have an orange shimmery blush that I really love from Alamar Cosmetics, but I don't have a matte one, so this is definitely a little bit something new to my collection. And actually, I feel like going in really lightly with this brush in particular is probably the best, easiest time I've had yet applying these blushes just because they're super pigmented. But just picking up a little bit, this brush is so soft, it blends it out really, really well. So that's cute. Don't even know what highlight to use with this today. I keep adding more. <laughs> okay, let me stop. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and just dip into my Danessa Myricks Dew Wet Balm in the shade Clear, just to add like a glow to the cheeks, but not add any more color. Pick up a little bit and pop it right on top. Hmm, actually, I mean, that's giving me like the glowy cheek look and it's making the blush look more like a cream blush, but I don't know if maybe I still wanna add a little something on top. Guess I'm being kind of indecisive today. <laughs> I'm just gonna dip into the Salt New York cream palette that I have and take the highlight shade, I believe this is called Pearl, and I'm gonna tap that right on the tops of my cheekbones. Okay, just adding a little, little, something. Those two products together mixed are actually really pretty. Last but not least for lips, I went ahead and pulled out my Propa Beauty lipstick in the shade Believe It. All right, guys, so this is the third finished look. I really do love how it turned out. I'm so happy I decided to do that pop of pink on the inner corner because I feel like it's just a little something different to a very like classic, warm, neutral look. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.